Welcome sa zipline.com. This video, tutuloy natin ating series about surface area. No? This is our third video and uh, dun sa unang video natin, pinag-aralan natin kung ano ba yung, uh, yung surface area ng cube, no? Kung ano ba yung formula. And in the second video, we derive the formula for finding the surface area of rectangular prism, no? So, dito sa video na to, ang gagawin natin is uh, to find the area of, or the surface area of a cylinder, no? Uh, dito ang in particular ang cylinder na to ay right right circular oh sorry right uh, cylinder siya no ibig sabihin uh, right angle siya hindi siya naka slant no okay so uh, sabi natin sa mga previous videos when we say surface area lahat ng nasa labas no so imagine kung uh, uh, sukatin natin yung area nito nung cylinder na to we have to find the area of the base, no? Dalawang base niya. And, of course, we also have to find the area nung, nung mga nakapaikot, no? So, madali itong base kasi yung nasa top tsaka nasa bottom, they are both circles, no? And, uh, alam naman natin that the formula for finding the area of a circle is pi r squared, no? So, if this is r, no? if we have... Uh, If we have R here, from here to here, we have R. Then obviously, yung area nito is pi R squared. So area of the top, top and bottom. Since yung top natin is pi R squared, Yung bottom din natin is pi r squared. Then obviously, meron tayong dalawang pi r squared, no? So this is 2 pi r squared. Yun yung ating area nung, nung uh, ating top and bottom. Yung total area is 2 pi r squared. Now the problem here is, paano naman yung area nung nakapaikot? So kung mapapansin nyo sa mga lata ng, ng uh, milk, for example, no? yung mga condensed milk, Pag tinanggal mo yung balot nito dito, syempre makakabuo ka ng, ng rectangle, no? May makakabuo ka ng rectangle. And, no, if this is the height, no, for example, from here, from here, pababa, this is the height of your rectangle. Sorry, the height of your cylinder, the height of your can, then this is the height, no? Kasi pag tinanggal natin yung, yung balot, magiging... Uh, rectangle and obviously this is the height. Ang tanong na lang ngayon is ano ba ito? No? Ibig sabihin yan, from here, no, pag, pag tinanggal ko for example yung balot dito, tapos paikot dito, kapareho siya no? Anin? Kapareho siya nito, yung sukat nito, di ba? Yung paikot, yung distance from here, paikot. At ang tawag natin dyan, this is the circumference. This is the circumference of a circle. No? So this is the circumference of a circle. And we know that the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r, no? Yan yung circumference ng circle, or kaya pi d, di ba? Yan yung formula niya. So yung sukat nito, from here to here, ay 2 pi r. So ano na yun yung sukat nung uh, the area of this uh, rectangle, which is the area nitong paikot na to. So, this is the base. Ang base natin ay 2 pi r. Tapos, ang height natin is h. No? So, combining this area yung with the top and the bottom areas, yan yung ating surface area, yung area sa lahat nung nasa labas ng kan natin or yung cylinder natin. So, meaning, the surface area is equal to 2 pi r h. O, 2 pi r squared muna plus 2 pi r h. And as an example, uh, for, for, for example, we have a cylinder with radius, radius 3, for example, and height 4. So we just have to we just have to uh, substitute, diba? Dun sa area natin. Pwede natin tuburahin. We have uh, uh, surface area is equal to 2 pi 
uh, 3 squared plus 2 pi 3 h 4 natin ang height natin is 4 and then r natin is 3 so we have um, 9 times to 18 pi plus this is 12 times to 24 pi so this is equal to ilan yan? 42 is it 42 8 plus 4 is 2 carry 1 42 pi no so kung walang given yung pi natin in terms of pi for, for example ito and if kung halimbawa yung given naman na estimation ng pi is pi for example here sinabi natin na use uh, use pi equals 3.1416 ako mari may ganyan sa instruction so we have, we have to substitute 3.1416 here no and syempre multiply lang natin yan we have uh, 42 times i think i'm going to have to use the calculator para mas mabilis so 42 times 3.1416 eh sorry 42 times 42 times 3.1416 okay so that's 131.9472 9472 or 95 kung gusto nyo no 31.131.95 so this is approximately 131.95 no so depende sa sa test or sa instruction kung hanggang ilan decimal places but here we rounded to uh, two decimal places okay so i hope meron tayong natutunan dito sa ating uh, video, by the way, minsan nakikita nyo pala, naka, pwede natin i-factor itong, itong surface area, no? Baka makita nyo sa mga ibang libro. Pwede kasi i-factor out yung 2 pi. So, magnyari, kaya 2 pi r, pwede may factor out. Ang matitira na lang dito is r plus 2 pi r squared plus h, no? So, pag binalik mo yan, 2 pi r times r is 2 pi r squared and then 2 pi r times h is 2. Uh, 2 pi r h. Okay? So, minsan ganito yung form niya. Okay? So, siguro mag-alalaan mag, uh, tayo ng mga uh, more posts about problems on surface area. Pero ang uh, sa mga posts na ito sa series na ito, ang pinapaliwanag lang natin is... Uh, paano ba nangyayari or saan ba nanggaling yung mga formula, paano ba nangyayari yung computation ng mga surface area ng solids, no? Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Gusto kayong invite sa zip9.com yung ating website and yung ating YouTube channel, of course, sa uh, YouTube, pwede yung uh, i-click yung subscribe button para kayo makapag-subscribe sa aming channel. So, eh, pag nag-subscribe kayo, ibig sabihin may inform kayo pag may bago tayong upload na video. Okay? So, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.